We are in conversation with Manjula Padmanabhan and she is going to tell us about his new exhibition of hers, Knots and Crosses. Um, please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be an artist. So thank you for the question. Um, at my age of 68, um, I find if I'm asked about my life, I don't know where to start. But I guess the easiest thing is to say that um, from an early age, I traveled with my parents uh, to Europe and Southeast Asia. So I have, I, I came to uh, back to India when I was a teenager, and uh, went to school in boarding school in Kodekanal, and uh, college in Bombay. And then I traveled myself a certain amount. I lived in Bombay. I uh, moved to Delhi in the 1980s, and in all this time. Uh, I was both an author and uh, an artist. To be a cartoonist while working for a magazine called Parsiana in Bombay, my uh, editor there was an extremely charismatic and idealistic person called Jahangir Patel. And working for him with Parsiana for three years was really a tremendous education uh, in, um, in learning how to draw for an audience. Meanwhile, I had done a BA in economics and an MA in history, so it, it, I did not do an, uh, a degree in art. But working with Parsiana was really a, a, a kind of tremendous uh, hands-on education because my work appeared in print all the time. And uh, I, I had always also been drawing and painting as an artist, but um, it was really in the 1980s that I began to have shows, uh, mostly one at a time. I participated in a couple of shows. I had one, uh, I've not often had solo exhibitions. So I think the last time I had a solo show was in this, in Sarla's Art Gallery in, uh, I think it was 2011. And, um, it takes a lot of time and effort to put together uh, artwork for a show. Can you tell us about your process and how you draw inspiration from various um, places and things? Um, all of this work uh, is in uh, charcoal and um, pastel pencils. And like I was explaining, uh, for most of my early uh, life, uh, I worked as a cartoonist and illustrator, and I still have a, I have a cartoon strip called Suki, and I have illustrated something like 20 books for children. So my natural um, medium is ink and um, uh, pencil. So in this show, for the first time really, I have been using charcoal and pastels. And it has been a tremendous revelation to understand how very um, uh, malleable, how, how, uh, how sensitive charcoal is, many different shades, and, and especially the wonderful dark black you get from using charcoal. I really enjoyed that, and I would say these pieces, they're very new. I did all of these between um, the majority of them, 13 of them, I, I made between the 1st of January <laughs> and, and the 23rd, I think, of January this year. So, you know, they really poured out in, in a hurry because I, want, I was very, very keen to uh, get the work together for this show. And um, I would say the overwhelming um, pressure was uh, I had an interest in, in looping forms, in, uh, in the intricacy. Uh, it, the, the show is called Knots and Crosses, but my interest began with ropes and showing the ways that ropes can be combined to create uh, solid shapes. And uh, I can't quite say why, <laughs> but my, my normal, my normal um, subject matter is people. So the, and people and, and animals. So it seemed a very simple uh, uh, progression to use ropes as a, 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 as a form that could become various different kinds of 
animal shapes and human shapes. Uh, what is your relationship with nature and how much of it um, unknowingly percolates into your work? I know this is going to sound very cheesy, <laughs> but when I was maybe um, 17, I went uh, to Kerala on a visit. Now, origin, I, you know, by ethnic origin, I'm from Kerala, but I've never lived there. I don't speak Malayalam. I don't speak Tamil. I don't speak Hindi. But <laughs> we went to Kerala for a visit, and we must have gone just around the monsoon. And that incredible uh, uh, burst of um, uh, vegetation in, in my uh, grandmother's house, it was, it was something that I, you know, I, I lived in Bombay I sh and, and in Thailand I had seen a lot of lush vegetation, but somehow what I saw in my family home in Kerala as I said, this sounds kind of cheesy, but it really, it really left a, uh, it was like an indelible mark on my imagination. This, this, this sense of almost um, violent uh, gro growth, uh, vegetable, veg vegetal growth was, was kind of almost scary. And I, it amuses me to see that that original inspiration keeps coming back. It's, it shows again and again in my work. And in this, the, one of these pieces, there, there, there are birds and fishes growing out of the uh, plants. And um, I'm not going to pretend that I uh, consciously create work which has uh, any kind of social message. I, I try, I really avoid doing that. Um, I prefer to uh, think about my work. I wait for uh, ideas to form uh, and then let them grow into their shape. And this medium, this using this very flexible medium of uh, crayon, charcoal, and pencil, uh, gives me the, the, you know, you can make a, you can put down a, a patch of color. This is what I do. I put down a patch of color and then using an eraser, I pull out the shape. I wait for the shape to form as I create it. I don't start with, an, um, with a concept that, I, okay, I'm going to do a, a couple of ropes or, or a, 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 you know, a, a bunch of um, leaves. It, I, have, I have a feeling that it'll come out the way I want, and then I let it grow. So, um, I think for me, the, the great um, pleasure of producing this work was I haven't had the opportunity to work on one theme or one set of drawings all at once. And it's been a tremendous uh, thrill to be able to do that. And I have to thank Sarla uh, for allowing me this opportunity to have a show. And it's just been wonderful. Thank you so much.